Hello there, and today I have a green crafting table. Want to know how to make this? It's even functional. In today's video, I will show you all the commands behind it. So, to make this, I'm going to put in a lime die and a crafting table, and I click that, and now I have my green crafting table. So I can place that down, and it works just like a normal crafting table, and when I break it, it drops it. And you'll see it looks just like a normal item in my hand. You compare with this crafting table. It just looks the same. All, only difference is it's green. And so now I'm going to get into the resource pack and data pack. So right here I have the resource pack. And in here, if we go to, we have models and textures. So in the textures, we'll see the green crafting table. And in here is the four textures for it. Then in the models folder, you'll see there's a blue block named for me and item. So in the item one, there's an armor stand, and it's here. Here's where it's selecting the custom model data. If it's a custom model data of one, it'll look for the model in blue block slash green crafting table. So let's go to there. So here is a simple model made using block bench, which I will teach you how to use in another tutorial. And here are all the textures. So it's pretty simple. And so that's actually it for the resource pack side of things. So I'm going to close all of that. And now I have the data packs. So here's custom blocks.lip and data. So if I go into the blocks one and recipes, you'll see there's a green crafting table recipe, which is one lime die and one crafting table, which then gives you a knowledge book. And if we go into the advancement for green crafting table, when you get it, it will, if you get the recipe of green crafting table, it will then run a function that gives that gives you the green crafter. So, if I go into the functions and get green crafter, it will clear you of the knowledge book. It will then give you an armor stand titled green crafting table with um, a custom model data of one, so it looks like it, and it has a tag of green crafting table. Then it will um, take the recipe from you and revoke the advancement. And then it will run tick.mc function. And so here, it will execute at where you placed it and summon a leash knot to center it. Then it will kill the original entity. Then at the leash knot, it will, summon, it will set the block to a crafting table. Then at the leash knot, it will summon an armor stand, which has an armor stand on it with a custom model data of 1. This is how it will show the block. Then it will make sure that that armor stand is always on fire so there's no visual bugs and it makes it glow. Then it'll kill the leash knot. Then right here, this is where it detects when it's broken. So when it's broken, it'll kill the crafting table because when you break it, it will drop a crafting table. Then it will summon the armor stand that is your green crafting table and then it will kill the armor stand so if we go back into minecraft and i grab myself a lime die and a crafting table and put them in here by the way you can put them in any slot you like then i get my green crafting table and i put it down you'll see you might see like a little thing right when i put it down a little thing happens that is all the commands running. And when I break it, it drops the crafting table. And so you can also stack these, but it is a little buggy where that will happen. So these aren't really meant to be building blocks. Uh, I'm gonna work on fixing that for the future. And that's how this works. So in the next video, I'll code a new block with you guys and goodbye.